All right, what's up, guys? It's Tuesday, demo day, the official kickoff for the PGA show. And this thing is crazy. It is a one mile circle all the way around. Everybody's here. We're going to see as much as we can. Um, first experience here. First experience. Last year, we weren't able to make it to demo day, so this year we said we got to do it. So I'm going to have a little fun. Yeah, we got four hours to get this thing done. You think we do a mile in four hours? We can do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Golf boards. Remember these guys? We had a little fun with them, right? Those are fun. Those are great. A couple videos back. Oh, those motorcycles. Yeah. Motorcycles yeah. yesterday were cool. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Cobra's got a huge boot this year. Both the new Speedback driver. Then we'll get a chance to hit it. I think we found Mike's new ride. Yeah, how sweet is that thing, huh? Just opens up to a party. Yeah, you better drain one. This is pretty cool. Title has got the whole little short game area roped off for, for Vokey testing. All right, you guys know I've been gaming the TS2 driver, Mike's hitting the TS3, mm -hmm. but we haven't made the switch yet to the fairway metals. So I want to hit these. This is on my list. So we got the TS2 and the TS3 here. I'm going to hit a few. And, uh, maybe this is the year we upgrade. Yeah, I mean, if it's anything like the driver, those are definitely going in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Same shaft options. There's the even flow that you went with. There's the hazardous smoke that I've got on my uh, TS2 driver. Now I'm caddying for this guy. Tell you what, that felt real good. I hit the TS2 a little bit better than the TS3, but like what I did with the driver, I think dialed in with the right shaft, the right weighting settings, a little bit of a fitting. I think it'd be a great club. So I think this might be my first 2019 purchase. We'll see. So it is so hard to really explain the, the scale of this event. There's just such a huge space, this huge circle that goes all the way around this massive driving range. And then every booth with multiple bays and just demoing equipment and trying things out. Uh, I think it's just a really cool way for the industry to put everything in one place and just let people go out and test things and try things out. So this has been really, really a cool day so far. So we're gonna take a couple quick cuts with the new Callaway Epic Flash. Right. Trying it out. Mike, what do you think? You think you could put one across this range? Maybe I could be wrong, maybe perception. It's got a little bit of a heavier feel than my TS, but not a bad club overall. This is not quite my degree, nine, nine degree, but I can see how with a little bit of a dialing, dialing in with a little bit of a fitting, this would be a good club. All 
All right, so that's the epic flash. I'll tell you, I, I, I feel like I hit it well. If you remember a while back, before I went to the TS, I actually was going through a fitting, and one of the clubs that I hit well was the uh, the Rogue. So I feel like I do hit the Callaway clubs well. Um, if you're a Callaway guy, I think it's it's, it's definitely something that's worth a, a try. It's a, it's a great club. Um, not taking my TS out of the bag anytime soon, but it, it's a great club for sure. Guys, here's a couple of faces you might recognize. Hey. And if you're not already following them, check them out. GM Golf. What's up? This is a Golf City vlog, I assume. That is right. How's it going? Demo day is crazy. This is the Stinger King right here. I don't know. I think actually this is the King of That's true. We got Zach here. Make sure you go check these guys out. Zach Radford's channel, GM Golf. Did you already get hole in one? Hole in one, trick shots. There he is. So check these guys out for sure. We'll put the link to the description. So you definitely got a little bit of everything here, not just the regular equipment you would think of, the clubs. But we've got Super Speed Golf is here, a lot of grip companies are here, uh, Flight Scope is here, like tech companies. You got a little bit of everything at Demo Day. And it's just, like I said, it's a great venue because not only can you see its products, you can test them right, right there. So really cool. And again, we caught the perfect day for it. A little windy, but gorgeous today. All right, we're gonna test out swing speed here, Frank. Over, under on 110, what do you say? <laughs> I don't know, yeah. I'm sore. I know, we have. <laughs> oh, let's back up. Over, under on 100. <laughs> now, this should be interesting. I've never actually swung this thing. We've seen it all over TV. We've seen it all over the, uh, the socials, but uh, I'm excited to get my hands on it, so let's do it. <laughs> Mike's got the ladies' club. I'm just going to say, do you want to have a little demonstration? I would love to. Club here would be, as a, as a pro, what you'd be looking for is this as the purchase. This is the coaches set. Now this covers ladies and men and okay. older juniors as well. The most popular club set is the men's set. So for yourself. If you're over five foot two and over 85 mile an hour, which I'm sure you are, this would be your set. This would be what you train with. So you train with three clubs. The concept is called overload underload training. So by starting with a club that's lighter than your own driver, this club is 20% lighter. The green club is 20% lighter than your driver. You're going to start with some swings with that. Then I'll be handing you the blue club, which is 10% lighter than your driver. And then this is the only club that's more heavy. That's only 5% wow, yeah, heavier. Yeah, that's crazy. That's five percent heavier but that's where the magic happens in the overload underload training or what we like to call it at super speed golf is over speed training right that's that's fantastic. so you are training to get faster and is it just a sequence you do like you said you said you start with this a few and then you we've got five training protocols so if you if you stayed in this training for a year you'd get to level five level one is where you'll make a massive spike in distance i can take you through five or six minutes right now and you're going to get fast right so if you want to have a go with it, yeah. let's do it. Okay. So. so we're going to start with this one. We're going to get a number and then we're going to go through some training. Come back to this one and see if the number's changed. So. Yeah. Give it a go, just find a left-handed grip and try it. Eight to ten inches off the ground. <laughs> oh yeah, it's good. Heavier now, but go for it. The interlock left here. Yeah. You find your way, just do it more. That's good. Gain three mile an hour. Go faster. Wow. 83, 85, 89. Only a slight prompt from me and you reacted. I said yeah. go faster. What did you do? Yeah. You went faster. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> Here we go. That's the big one. Okay. How are you feeling? Feeling good? Yep. Let's yeah. give it a go. See if you can get anywhere near 89. 91. Wow. Wow, come on, let's make this one even faster. 
Yeah, I mean, it came in at 85, I believe, and you've left at 122. So, yeah. hope you enjoy. I did. Thank you so much. That was brilliant. Oh, cool. We're we'll getting these. Thank you. <laughs> Six golf. Check them out at lots of facilities across America and Europe. Great. Very great. All right, dude. So, first experience of demo day. What's your thoughts? I'll tell you what. I, I knew it was going to be big going into it, but I'd say it's even bigger than I thought. I mean, it, it's just everybody's here. Um, it's a huge event, and I'd say it's one of the only opportunities you get where you get to test everything in one place. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you're not going to go to the you know a local store and just hit everything. I mean, it would take way too much time. Plus, everything is right next to each other here. Plus, having those people here to take you through the specs of everything and, and what the features are of the club, I thought it was really cool. So, we'll definitely yeah. be back next year. There's a couple things we didn't get to just because of time constraints, but um, yeah, like I said, it's just it's a great event and it's a great opportunity to, to test out a lot of equipment. So, let's go play golf. Let's do it. Yeah.